So what are the signs that post-traumatic growth has taken place? Uh, so we said post-traumatic growth, you come over on the other side, more beautiful and a changed person. But how do you tell that this person is changed? You will find that this person has had a shift in their thinking. They were thinking a certain way, but now they're thinking very differently. Like the way the Bible records that Joseph told his brothers, what you intended for evil, God turned it for the good. So this, the person was changed. They were looking at life very differently. Then there is a way in which they appreciate life. Somebody appreciates life so much, like the way you can have maybe um, somebody has experienced a bereavement or a loss. They have lost a close family member. And every single day, because of what they go through, they appreciate the life that they have. I have recently been thinking of my own experience, just on that point of appreciating life, my own experiences having gone through loss, bereavement. I lost my father as a toddler. Then I lost my sister when I was in high school. One of the denominators of this loss, losses is that I never buried these people. They died in my absence. My father, by virtue of the fact that I was a baby, so I don't remember, or maybe I was even taken away the way people do, hide children. My sister, I went to school, I came back, she had passed away and she had been buried. So that made me appreciate life in another, in a different way that every time my children go to bed, I give them a hug and I tell them I love you. Every time I take my children to boarding school, those who are in boarding school, I drop them. The last thing I say, I love you. You know why? Because I don't know whether this is going to be the last time. I, I mean, I know it's a difficult thing to think about, but then I don't know. This may just be the last time that I'm going to see them. So I always remember to say, I love you. And sometimes when I tell people, they may think, oh, I'm being extra, as they call it. I'm being dramatic. I'm not. It's because I appreciate life in a way that, you know, I never probably appreciated before. Another sign that uh, post-traumatic growth has taken place is somebody has an appreciation of their strength, emotional, physical, spiritual strength. There's some strength that was probably latent, you know, lying there dormant. You go through post-traumatic growth and you realize, oh, I can actually do this. I can actually do this. This can actually happen. Think of like even the people you see as simple as people who spend grueling hours in the gym and they chip at their flab and everything. Then when the body comes out and the body is so well sculpted and they realize that I actually had all this. It's not like another body has come on them. They actually had this body. They just needed to do something so that it can, it can emerge, it can come out. And then another sign that post-traumatic growth has taken place is that somebody discovers new possibilities. Possibilities that they never thought existed. And now here I will just say, uh, talk about the people who get fired. There are people who get fired from their place of employment, they lose their job. They never knew they can do certain things. We have people who have started doing things like even cake baking. They bake cake. We have people who are fired from their jobs as teachers. They go ahead and begin schools and the schools really thrive and do so well and they impact thousands of people. So they realize mm, there are new possibilities. Look at even the current uh, adverse experience that we are going through, COVID-19. COVID-19. Who knew that from the comfort of your house, you can actually work remotely? We are now impacting uh, millions across the world simply because of this opportunity for us to use our home space because of COVID. So we are discovering possibilities that we never knew existed. And then another sign that post-traumatic growth has taken place is somebody experiences a new spiritual, philosophical change in the way they look at life. They now look at life so differently. Somebody told me one time that um, having uh, grown up in Kenya, you know, in Kenya we have the tribe thing, the way somebody looks at um, you and they're asking, what tribe are you, what tribe are you? And there are stereotypes that we go by. So this person grew up in Kenya having this stereotype. One time they traveled abroad. And in this city that they were in, most of the people were not black. Most of the people were white. And they were yearning, they were yearning to see a black body, okay, somebody who looks like them at least. So one time he's walking on the street, and then he looks at a distance, he sees somebody with a skin like his. He ran and hugged this person. He didn't know the person, he, and it's a man, yeah, it's a man. 
And you know, coming from a patri patriarchal society where men are meant to be macho, they're meant to be strong, he ran and hugged this person. They embraced and they talked and he discovered he was from East Africa, this other man was from West Africa. And they became brothers and they talked and up to today, he said they are very close because now his perspective changed. And when he came back to Kenya, he no longer looks at people as the tribes and communities or ethnic people groups that he used to look at them as. So when somebody has gone through post-traumatic growth, they are no longer the same person that they were. You will find they can no longer relate. That's why when people have gone through a bereavement and they have survived it, they have survived it, you discover the things they used to enjoy, they no longer enjoy. The places they used to go to, they no longer go. The people they used to hang, hang out with, they no longer hang out with them because their philosophy of life has completely changed. Some people even become very, very, very close with their spiritual being, God, the Almighty. They become very close because they now understand life in a way and appreciate life in a way they never appreciated before. So these are some of the signs that post-traumatic growth has taken place in an individual. In case you have watched this, you have listened to this and you're feeling, mm, sounds familiar, sounds familiar, or probably you know somebody who has gone through trauma and you can identify with whatever we have shared. I just want to say there's no shame. We need to normalize seeking for psychosocial support. We need to acknowledge and give language to our emotions. Leave a comment below, reach out, share this with somebody because we all need to heal. There is no health without mental health. There is no health without emotional health. What happened to you is not your fault, but what you do with it is your responsibility. Let me repeat that. What happened to you is not your fault, but what you choose to do with it is your responsibility. So let's uh, embrace whatever has happened to us. Let's embrace our journey. Leave a comment. Let us know your thoughts. Reach out. Share this with somebody uh, ultimately so that we can have this creating an impact so that all of us can own our journeys and become better people. Thank you. Mm -hmm.